to alert weather. Another round of snowy weather rolling in here from the west. We can see those clouds coming closer to Pocatello. Live look here from the Farm Bureau Sky Cam and on Viper. Here we go. It's getting pretty active going off towards areas of Twin Falls and also in southeastern Idaho. It's been snowing pretty good along I-15 south of Pocatello, uh, making for a bit of a treacherous drive at times over Malad through McCammon. But we've also had a lot of melting and now we're starting to pull snow back in here. A little bit of a lull right now for areas around the Snake River Plain, but don't you worry. More wet weather trying to get in here over the next couple of hours. Uh, we got this late freezing drizzle in Idaho Falls right now, and we're going to be picking up on some snow coming in here over the next couple of hours and then more for Saturday. So we have snow and rain and potentially some freezing rain and drizzle. So be careful because, of course, when you get that freezing drizzle, things get very slick. Southwest winds at 10 to 15, gusts around 20 for tomorrow, and the highs are still going to be a little bit above freezing at 35 to 40 tomorrow for the Snake River Plain, leading to more of that wintry mix. Winter storm warnings for the mountains and foothills southeast of the Snake River Plain, getting all the way to the extreme southeastern corner of Idaho through Bear Lake County. Also, the mountains around Jackson and Star Valley, but not Jackson and Star Valley itself. They're under winter weather advisories, but if you're traveling over the mountain passes, of course, you'll run into some difficult driving conditions and difficult driving conditions, mind you, also in Lemhi County. That's not really for in town and salmon. It's mostly for Gilmore and the pass north of salmon. And then also as you get around the mountains through Elk Bend closer to Chow. So uh, travel conditions could be a little sketchy in the mountains as this system rolls on in thanks to the atmospheric river. So we have a Saturday system also on the way here. We're right now getting the punch of the Friday system, but we have round two that's going to sweep across Nevada and Utah. We're going to get a warm front that's going to deliver some good snow around here, and we'll have the leftovers in there for Sunday. Snowfall amounts are still going to be kind of iffy in the valley because we're going to be still looking at some rain and that wintry mix being interjected across here. So the lower elevations, we're going to be fighting that little green and pink area here on Vipercast. Tomorrow morning, most of the snow is going to be focused out to far eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. Then as we get through the day, we're going to see most of the snow hanging out close to Utah, but a few snow showers and flurries still with us in Idaho Falls and the rest of the Snake River Plain. Not a lot happening, mind you, though, in central Idaho by tomorrow afternoon and evening. And by Sunday, we're just dealing with the leftover pockets of wet weather to get into the new year with partly cloudy skies and we're not looking for a lot of snow on Sunday. But we are still looking in that two to four inch range in Idaho Falls by Saturday into Sunday. But again, a lot of that's going to be mixed in with some of that freezing rain and a little bit of that drizzle one to two inches around Blackfoot and Pocatello. Uh, we expect to pull in some cold air. Taking a look at Monday and Tuesday, high pressure is going to work in behind these storms and we're going to get very chilly in here for Monday and Tuesday. More wet weather by Thursday of next week, which you'll see here on the snow tracker. We have decent amount of snow chances coming in here for Saturday. More on the way for Thursday and Friday with not a lot of moisture on Monday. Here's a look at the forecast. 37 for Montpelier, 38 for Malad in Preston, 37 in Lava with uh, 31 for the high in Afton. 28 in Rexburg tonight with a high of 34 for tomorrow, along with St. Anthony also hitting 34, 35 in Jackson, 37 in Swan Valley. Jackson's eight day forecast, snow in the mix for tomorrow with the winds at 10 to 15, gusts around 20. We'll have highs around 32 for Sunday. Looking at dry, cold conditions on Monday with a high of 28. Rexburg, again, scattered snow and rain here for tomorrow. Not a lot of wet weather in there for Sunday, but still some clouds. And then we'll see chilly temperatures Monday with highs in the lower 20s. Central Idaho, 33 for salmon, 34 for chalice, 32 in Arco. Eight-day forecast for salmon. We're seeing some scattered snow, mostly in the morning and midday, but by Saturday afternoon, that snow is going to start to dissipate. And we'll have highs in the upper 20s on Sunday. Moving over to central, from central Idaho to the Snake River Plain, 35 for Idaho Falls, 40 for Pope. Cotello, and we got 38 in Blackfoot. Eight day forecast. Again, temperatures above freezing for the highs tomorrow. Then we're going below freezing for Sunday and Monday with highs into the 20s on Monday. Areas of freezing fog as we head into the start of the work week. And then we're expecting to see here scattered snow showers by Thursday. Pocatello, 40 tomorrow with 35 for Sunday. Idaho Falls, 35 tomorrow for the high. Lows falling back into the 20s. A high of 31 for Sunday. Looking at some freezing fog potential on Monday with a high of 22. And then temperatures are going to wind back into the low 30s for Thursday with a little bit of snow trickling through the region and temperatures uh, staying into the upper 20s, low 30s towards next weekend. Linda. So much, Michael. After a disastrous week, Southwest Airlines is promising to resume normal operations today. It's a major relief for the hundreds of thousands of passengers who have been affected by the airline's meltdown. Mike Valerio 